Hello, and welcome to the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab YouTube channel. This video will describe how to sample round bales for nitrate levels. Nitrates can be high in Sudan type grasses, sorghum stalks, oat haze, and haze with high weed concentrations. Test bales individually to determine the risk of nitrates in the field. Bale selection should be done randomly. If bales are in the field, you can draw a line across the field that includes different elevations and growing conditions. Sample along this line. If you are sampling from a storage area, choose bales that are not adjacent to each other. A minimum of 10 bales or 10% of the bale count should be sampled. A good quality bale coring instrument adds to the ease of this procedure. This one mounts to a drill and it's simple to use. Make sure the end is sharp and coring is done in low gear for more torque. Place the bale corer in the middle of the bale on the round surface. Sample the bale as far as the probe will go in. This will sample many layers of windrow that has been rolled into the round bale. Do not core the bale from the end where the bale surface is flat, as this will only sample one area of a single windrow. After you sample a bale, mark the sample bag in the bale with a number that can be traced back in case you have bales that are determined to be high in nitrates. If all of your bales test less than 5,000 parts per million nitrate, your risk of nitrate problems are low. If a bale tests greater than 5,000 parts per million nitrate, you should develop a plan to mitigate the risk of nitrate toxicity in your herd. One option is to test all bales and remove the bales that are high in nitrate. Another option is to grind the bale and mix it with other feed sources that are not high in nitrates. Contact your veterinarian for advice when feeding forages with elevated nitrate levels. For more information on this procedure or any other tests we offer, contact Client Care.